How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today we're looking at the Aorus uh, GeForce RTX 3060 Ti and this is the master version as well so it's a pretty beefy card. So let's open up the box here and see exactly what we get inside. Okay, so I managed to get a hands on one of these. We're doing a build for my uh, friend. We're putting it together into a micro ATX build, so uh, you know, stay tuned for that. But here we go, we've got the uh, front of the uh, car uh, box here. It tells you about the four year warranty that you get with Aorus if you register it online as well and you've not bought it from a shady source. And then you should uh, be able to register that and get your four years warranty on there. You got the eight gig of VRAM there, it tells you about the RGB sync as well, as well as some features on the back, which includes the cool onboard screen you got in this thing. So let's just open up this thing here. So this is the Aorus uh, Master. You know, they do two models uh, on the high end. Uh, Aorus, got your Master and your Extreme. Master sits just below the Extreme. So let's, uh, front of the box there, you got the Aorus uh, logo. Cool to see. Let's open it up. Open it up. And then you've got inside, you've got a nice foam pad in there, with, which tells you, you know, about this thing, which is a nice little matte black Aorus envelope, which has got, what's it got? Uh, it's got your four year register, your warranty thing, and a little quick start cheat sheet guide as well in there. So that's a nice little presentation. There we've got the foam pad in here to keep the uh, card itself secure when it's in transit, you know. You've got a little tacky uh, badge, <laughs> Aorus badge, it's actually made out of metal actually, with a 3M adhesive on the back, so if you want to stick that onto your uh, case, you can do, that's entirely up to you, you float that way. Um, and then we've got obviously the card itself in a big foam kind of, um, you know, uh, box. And we've got a nice anti-static, um, sheet on it as well, you know, make sure it doesn't get all scratched up and nasty and stuff like that. Um, so this is the, uh, I've already kind of unwrapped it, so you know what to get. Right, so this is the card itself. Now, you've got the uh, nice, uh, like, uh, metal uh, PCB here, uh, not PCB, back plate. Got a nice metal back plate, but it doesn't have a matte black PCB, it's a gloss black, but you're not going to be able to see it anyway because of the back plate. Um, but yeah, really cool. Um, you've got the Aorus um, logo there in the back, which actually lights up RGB. You can control the lighting on this thing, everything on it, um, using the software. Um, so you've got that as well. Um, you've got on the front here, we've got the triple fan spin kind of effort going on. So you got two large fans. Are they the same size now on this one? Uh, it looks like, yeah, they're about the same size. So you got two large, uh, two side fans, which are raised higher than the one in the middle. And the one in the middle spins a different um, rotation than the ones on the side, which creates that kind of figure of eight, you know, fan uh, going in, going out, push, pull kind of thing. Quite a cool layout to be honest. And uh, I can, I've already known for myself that these things uh, these coolers are, coolers are really good and they're really quiet as well. So obviously all over the card, you got the cellophane wrap. So let's take the cellophane wrap off. Uh, it's always the best part of taking part on electronics. So yeah. Now you have to be careful because some of the early Aorus cards, I know this from experience, like my personal one didn't come with any cellophane wrap on, okay? Now normally it wouldn't cause that much of an issue, but uh, on these new Aorus cards you've got the uh, screen here, which is like a mirror finish, and it gets scratched up so easily. So um, if yours doesn't have that cellophane wrap on, it's gonna get scratched in transit by the static bag. So just bear that in mind, make sure it comes with the cellophane wrap on. Um, so yeah, what we've got here, we've got the um, eight pin there and a six pin to power it. So, you know, for a 3060 Ti, it needs quite a bit of power. Um, it's a uh, three slot design. So you are gonna need three slots, uh, save for this car, because it is quite a beefy car, to be honest. I mean, what kind of a world do we live in these days when even the mid-range cards <laughs> need three slots? But the 3060 Ti, um, you know, is quite powerful uh, in relation to its previous 60 launches that we've had before. Um, really nice looking card. Um, you know, we've got the screen there, 
with the uh, RGB lighting all around it. You've got RGB on the back, RGB on the front. It's all RGB. Of course, you can turn it off if you don't like it in the software. Um, if you are mining with this thing, you can't turn it off because you'll be using a riser uh, cable, but you can um, get about 60 mega ash, you know, with this thing. Um, and on the uh, IO here, we've got display port, uh, three, was it three display ports? Yeah, we've got three display ports, three HDMIs. So quite a lot going on with this thing. It looks a really nice looking card. Um, I'll give you some close-ups in the B-roll. Um, the PCI Express uh, slot comes with a little cover on it as well, which is uh, cool, good to see. Um, and I think it did have a fan profile switch. Let me just see if I got it or it might be on the other cards. Yeah, because some of the, I know the 38, oh yeah, he's got it here. So if you have a look here, we've got the BIOS, OC and silent mode button. So, you know, the silent mode obviously it's a slightly down clock version of the stock BIOS and then it keeps the fan running cool and slow. And then obviously the BIOS OC is a different one. So that's good to see that you got to experiment with that as well. Okay guys, now we're going to be uh, building this inside a, a 280X system. So I'm going to be building that, we'll put it in, see what it looks like when it lights up and we'll do some quick 3D mark benchmarks so you get an idea of how powerful it is. All right guys, so here is the Aorus RTX 3060 Ti um, installed into this Corsair 280X uh, build, which you might have seen in my previous videos. It fits in quite nicely in the Micro ATX board. Um, it is on the larger side, um, being a triple slot um, card. But the good thing is that the cooler is exceptionally quiet. And as you can see here, just idling around 26 degrees C doing absolutely nothing from that GPU temp uh, screen there. Uh, so having a look, a closer look at that GPU temp screen, it is um, RGB and you can control um, the different uh, types of displays that you can show. You can have it showing FPS or, you know, uh, GPU temp or maybe VRAM usage, stuff like that. You can change it all using the ARS software and the ARS engine software. You'll need them both installed to actually use it. It's also, at the moment, I've got it set to just white, but you can also change the color of the side light as well as the Aorus uh, backplate uh, logo RGB light effect as well, which is a nice little tweak there too. And here it is um, in a 280X case. As you can see, the clearance is only about uh, two inches um, away from the actual fan there, but it is a very quiet cooler. Now, if we have it loaded up in our system here, I'm running a quick benchmark of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, now this uh, um, system is running a AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core um, with 16 gb of RAM um, and it's on a uh, Dell 24-inch uh, 1920 x 1080p uh, monitor that we've got here. Um, so as you can see the FPS is absolutely brilliant. Um, and it's barely getting hot, you can see here from the GPU temp, only getting 57 degrees C. Running the GDDR6 memory is a lot cooler than running GDDR6X memory, which you can find on the um, RTX 3080 and the 3090, they run a hell of a lot hotter. The graphics is also set to ultra high, with high uh, anti-aliasing, V-Sync off of course. There is no DLSS optimization on this game, but as you can see here, we're running way over 60 fps averages you know highs up to you know uh mid uh 117 uh, um you know the highs but it looks like the average is going to settle around 75 78 maybe probably higher at 1080p gaming so it is an ideal card for perfect 1080p gaming i would definitely recommend it because the sasuke valhalla is quite a tough game to run very graphics intensive but you know the 3060 Ti, this resolution is absolutely smashing it. And as you can see here, the final results, we've got the average of 76 uh, uh, FPS and 39 min 152 mass. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out and helps me grow my channel and keep making videos for you guys. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And thank you very much and I'll catch you next time.